Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we got DC Comics Multiverse Batman The Dark Knight Returns Armor Batman. That's a that's a mouthful right there. And uh, I've been doing a lot of Marvel love, so I'm trying to show some DC love in there as well as Dark Knight Returns is one of my favorite all-time Batman stories. So, definitely one of my favorites and Frank Miller is the man. And uh it does come in that typical DC Comics multiverse package. It's got some artwork right there. And actually has a little bit of info. Everybody from the wave. Some stuff up there. And nothing on the side. Wah, wah. So let's go ahead and get Bruce out of his package. Bruce Wayne, Armor Batman, Old Man Bruce just looks awesome out of the package. And let's get into his accessories. So he did come with a build a figure or collecting connect or whatever the heck you want to call it from DC. He comes with the uh, new 52 Doomsday crotch. You know, in case uh, you just wanted to have a butt and a crotch from Doomsday. And what, what's even weird is then he comes with the head of Doomsday. So you get some head and crotch with this figure. And I mean, the head sculpt of uh, Doomsday is pretty cool. But I'm not going to be collecting these figures to build them, unfortunately. So, wah, wah, wah. Even though I should get the female uh, Robin for him because, you know, they go together. And uh, he does come with a gun that uh bruce wayne didn't make himself he actually had this uh made in china as you can see it's stamped right on the most that's the worst spot to have china marked on here come on now come on dc like did it have to have this marked and uh you know the gun is made out of uh oh, you got some marbleization in there in the plastic it's just a sort of like a glittery gray sculpts all right you know it's 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 a pistol it's not bad the bad part is it's just like you got little spots there and you got the oh it's number three china so this must have been the third one that he had made first two must have blown up or something i don't know but uh all kidding aside let's get into the figure itself um he is a hefty figure um as he should be he's all armored up head sculpt just looking great he just looks pissed off teeth all sculpted in there he, he looks angry but i don't know if he's angry because he wants to beat people or if it just looks like he, he just looks like he's a pissed off kid in a snowsuit you know after getting all bundled up to go out and play in the snow but uh <laughs> His head articulation, you know, he can look left and right. He actually can look down and look back. So, some really nice head movement. So, you can just have him jamming out to some music. And the cape. It's there. It's a cape. Can't be Batman without a cape. It's attached by a big peg thing in the back. Um, and looks like it's a glued up on the shoulder. So no worries about it falling off like some of the Hasbro, um, legends where the capes just fall off and don't stay in place. Um, something I thought was weird is, uh, this is actually rubber. You can see it indent. So it's like a rubber coating over a body. Um, his arms, they do go up even though he has armor. Uh, he does have bicep swivel, which... If you turn it just right again this is my little OCD bugs this bugs the crap out of me um, and then he does have a single jointed elbow which doesn't really get much of a motion like that's as far as it bends his uh, so it, his wrist does rotate but there's no wrist bend um, the sculpt work is very clean on this figure and it's just really really nice i love the hands well this hand specifically because i just love all the detail that they actually had in this and it's 
beautiful. It is beautiful, like straight out of the comic book, beautiful. Um, this arm has same articulation, but he has a fist. You know, rotate at the rotates as well, and just has. It's not bad. It's a fist. I mean, what more do you want out of a fist? So really cool there. Um, as for I'm looking at, he sort of has. I can't tell. Like I. A hidden ab crunch, but I can't tell if I'm just looking like it's trying to break right there, but I can't tell what's going on under this, underneath this rubber piece. Um, he does have waist swivel with that bright utility belt, because you can't be Batman without a cape and the bright yellow utility belt, and pointy ears. He does get the ability to sort of kick up a little bit, but not much. I mean like a kid playing in the snow in a snowsuit and you get very very limited mobility and that's because he has this rubbery diaper thing going on i guess they're using it to hide the inner workings of the figure but the figure can move his legs out a little bit and it's not your typical dc legs um i don't know but i mean you can get some motion out of them there's no uh thigh swivel thankfully I don't think at least nope and he gets a single jointed knee which you can bend it quite far and then his actual feet get bends no no pivots surprise no pivots oh and he does have a boot swivel there all hidden that's a good boot swivel you can't really it's nice and hidden and again, throughout this whole figure, I might be sounding like I'm nitpicking, but the sculpt is clean. Like, look at the line work and the details. I mean, it is super clean, and I love the 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 spikes on the bottom of his feet. Like, that's all looking awesome. And they still have spots for a stand. Got the little markings across the shoe as well. Or the boot, should I say? Um, my only concern is this Hazi. I guess that's how he holds his the pistol. I'm not feeling that at all. And uh, George, George, if you're watching this, man, is this is this right? Is it supposed to. Uh, in his hand like that i mean you're the you're the dc master uh plastic addict so give me some input because this this looks goofy like did they just not make this big enough like i guess it sort of has a trigger finger right there but when you pop it in i don't know it just looks it looks weird like i just feel like it's needs more of a handle i don't know if you guys uh Anybody watching, I mean, go ahead and uh, comment down below. What do you think about that pistol? I mean, I'm I'm sort of not pleased with that at all. And there's no other, there's like, maybe you can rig it on the boots to, looking for a spot to like maybe set this pistol, but yes, I <laughs> think it could connect on one of these, but yeah, he has no holster for the pistol. So I, I'm not a fan of the pistol. I'm here for the figure itself. The figure... With limited articulation as he has, I can accept it because he is in armor and he's supposed to be this big bulky figure. He's not supposed to be, you know, he's not supposed to be Spider-Man. You know, like having that articulation, he's not supposed to be, he's in armor. He's not going to be your normal Batman jumping around, doing backflips and, you know, he's, he's ready to just throw down and beat people down and be able to take a beating in this armor suit. So I really like this figure, um, minus the gun. And uh, I can't wait to unbox my jumper flash that I got from uh, my buddy Marcus so I can actually swap the head and put the old man uh, Bruce head on him. But uh, as you guys can see here, this is what you get with the figure. If you guys like what you saw um, with this review, you know, go ahead and add a like, subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, good luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a wonderful day.